Hello everyone. It's another Attack on Zerzut. And looking at the Toon Boom Animate or Harmony software, we're going to be using the cutter tool to make an eye a little faster. Now, in my previous videos, you might have seen that we use the color override. Not to knock that off completely, but in this way that we're going to do, we're going to be using less modules and there's probably going to be a few fewer steps in how we execute this. So currently I have this one little blue spot there which is my iris and I am going to create an eye for that. So I have a body here, I'm just making one eye for now for the sake of this tutorial. So let's put on my light tape and of course I'm going to need my eyeball so I'm going to just draw that. I prefer using the brush tool. So I'm going to add a new layer call this eyeball and let's zoom in a bit now how we draw is going to be a little different because normally in my other tutorials I drew on the line art but I'm going to be employing the color art this time so say we just use this smooth it up a bit what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the color art right here and in the same selection tool you have this button here which says create color art from line art if you actually go to your drawing view you will see the same button up top here same button create color art from line art now if I hit that button and I go to my color art you're gonna see this little blue outline here this usually means that you have an invisible stroke so what I'm gonna do with that is I am going to Fill it up with some color. Maybe this one wasn't, wouldn't work, so let's just create a new one. Solid white. Fill that in. And just extend my exposure. So now we have this. And I'll just put my iris on top so you can see it like this. Now what we want to do is make sure that inside the white of the eye we always see the iris. So I'm going to use the network now. Let's clean this up a bit. Network view. Order up. The network. So it's a little cleaner. Now of course you're going to use the cutter tool and you're going to use it to kind of mask the iris into the eyeball. So in the module library, you're going to go to the cutter, pull that to your network, and of course in the cutter it has two drawing inputs you could say. The dotted one means what do you want to cut, and the other one means what do you want to cut it with. Now we want to cut the iris using the eyeball, but not the entire eyeball. So what we would do is we'd stick the iris through the cutter and put the cutter back to the composite. Still looks the same. Now I want to use this eyeball here to cut. Now if I do this and go to my cutter and choose inverted, if I move my iris, it's going to stay within my entire eye. But my problem is I want to actually keep the outline around it. So here's what I'm going to do. In the module library, you have some art modules. Just like your color art and your line art, you also have modules that actually deal with just those. So I'm going to use the line art. And what it will do is filter out the entire drawing and choose only the line art to show. So for the eyeball, I'm going to grab... The eyeball is still going to go through there. But also, I'm going to put the eyeball through the line art and the line art in front. So now when I move my iris, it stays only inside the eye. So that's a quicker way of doing it. You still want to contemplate using the drawing substitutions and such. But just remember that you want the substitutions that you plan to use on the color art as well as the line art. So whenever you're finished, you're going to have to filter out the outlines for, say, when the eye closes. So thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something. Take care. God bless.